co-ed communal bathrooms. I'm so, I can't, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even. I have a really small bladder. It's like, no, it's like this big. It's like really small. So I have to go to the bathroom more than most people. Which just means that I have like extra exposure to the conditions. Boys need to learn how to aim. That's all, that, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not saying girls aren't gross. Girls are gross. Girls are plenty gross. They are plenty gross. Girls are nasty. Girls are disgusting. But boys and girls together sharing one, one restroom facility Y'all need to get your lives together. It's nasty. It's nasty. Y'all dirty. Dirty. Stanky. Nasty. Okay? Dirty. It doesn't really help that I'm a germaphobe. Let's just put it... Let's just... Okay. My skin still look a hot mess though. My continued food struggles include the crap cheese sections here. They have something called tasty cheddar, which doesn't taste like cheddar at all and it's not tasty. They have something called extra tasty cheddar. They have like random other people's versions of this tasty cheddar and extra tasty cheddar. They don't really have much variety in the way of cheese unless you're willing to spend like $40 for like a quarter pound. I just wrote on my arm. Too much sass with the hand going all crazy. Back home we've got all types of stuff. We've got Colby Jack. We've got real cheddar. We've got, you know, Havarti. We've got Gouda. We've got um, provolone. We've got Swiss. We've got... You know, just all these different kinds of cheeses in many different varieties, you know? Maybe, maybe I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm spoiled. And globalization hath brought to my country many different types of cheese. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I thought you were a developed nation, Australia, but apparently the other thing that was a real upset. They don't have, like bacon as I know bacon bacon here is like Canadian bacon it's like ham pieces instead of well I mean bacon is part of the of a pig which is like ham but it's not ham it's bacon okay it's bacon yeah, they don't have like bacon strips that are fatty and that you can you can cook on a in a in a pan or on a a, sh a baking sheet that you put in the oven and it just gets all crispy in some places and kind of chewy in others. They don't have bacon. The juice. I really want to complain about the juice. This is the juice I was just drinking and choked on. Maybe. This is orange juice. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. The juice here is a joke and I'm not this isn't like an American There's not enough high fructose corn syrup in my beverage. The juice here is just like a sad juice substitute It's not like real juice. It doesn't taste like Even remotely the fruit that it's supposed to taste like I had the the regular cranberry juice from the store 
it, it wasn't like cranberry, it wasn't like cran apple or like cran grape or cran peach or cran tangerine, whatever. It wasn't, there was nothing added to it. It was just cranberry on the front. It seemed like a reasonable assumption to make that it would taste like cranberry. I was foolish. I was young and foolish. It was a week ago. Ugh. It didn't taste like cranberry. If anything, it tasted like that, that sugar-free ocean spray stuff that kind of tastes aspartame-y. Like it, it, it tastes like artificial sweetener, like, like cherry Kool-Aid and like grape juice. If you mix cherry Kool-Aid and grape juice, my laptop just went full bleh, bleh. No, It wasn't good, you know? I don't like cherry Kool-Aid. I don't really like grape juice. Put those two things together, it's not gonna come out well for me. Like, OMG, I was like accused of being racist. And I was just like, what? I don't know, just like, it's it's just something that we, we do in the US, it's like funny. And I thought about it, and two things I realized. One, it's really sad that that's true. We just kind of like make jokes about racism and about different races and just think that that's okay. It also like made me realize, and I said to this person, like, dude, I just grew up being exposed to many different types of people enough to gain the understanding that, cer that certain stereotypes are legit. <laughs> like, I grew up in very diver diverse bleh, English. I can legitimately say that I've, I've grown up being exposed to a lot of different cultures, a lot of different cuisines, languages, religions, um, things like that. It's part, it's one of the benefits of living in a major city or around major cities in the U.S. You know, I've, I've seen things. I've seen things, son. You know, making, making the, I don't even remember what I said. It was something like, um, something about Asians. I don't even remember what I said. That's how, like, that's how unconcerned I was. But, you know, it's, it, it's made me, it's made me more conscious of, of some of the things that I say and how people take them. Like, I make fun of myself all the time. Like, I make fun of Latinos and Hispanics, like, all the time, all day or a day. Someone else might, someone else might not do that. So it's just, it's one of those, it's one of those things that you have to be very conscious of, especially when you go to other places, which they try to train you for before you go and study abroad. It's just some food for thought. My hair is so soft. Dude, I went like three days without washing it and then I washed it today and like gave it like a special conditioning treatment and now it's like the happiest hair ever. I just realized I don't have my two hour evening lecture tomorrow and I'm like... So I had a guest lecture today and because I've been sick for the past week and a half, I didn't realize that we had a guest lecture. Not only that, I didn't realize that we had a guest lecture for four lectures. So I walked into the class and he goes, and you know, at first I'm thinking, cause I got there a few minutes early, I'm like, am I in the right classroom? I don't recognize any of these people, but that's probably because I've missed the last week and half of class. So before even sitting down, because that was, you know, it was still a question of whether or not I belonged in this place. And he goes, Welcome to part three of four of my guest lecture series. And I was like, okay. So apparently I was doing so much that my computer just died. <laughs> you can't handle Selena. No. Hey.